everyone. Uh, I know this is a big surprise because I haven't been very present uh, visually and in video and there are reasons for that. God has brought me to prayer and brought me to other uh, things to more share word and be in prayer because that's what I do. I pray and I fight in the spirit and that's my gift and I, I tend to obey. Today I come to you very quickly because I find myself in a place where I must urgently advise you all, all who are hearing and please share if you, like I never asked to share, but I just want you, or just like share this message from yourself to others. Be in prayer and in praise and in that place where you're in the presence of God, make that your, your normal make that your place where you are above all things let go of the second i felt like saying let go of the second job it's not my place to tell you what to do let god tell you what to do but i really know that god wants his people to be in prayer and in praise and close to him because i don't think that I think we need to make ourselves ready psychologically and spiritually for what's coming so that we can be ready to get up and activate for God. You know, ask anybody who deals with emergency situations, no matter their role, they're only as good as their focus is. And you need to focus on Christ to be able to do his work and intervene no matter what he asks you to do. I feel like this is a necessity in the immediate and we need to get serious, serious. He's not coming back in six months, three years. And what is gonna happen before he comes back is because he is so amazingly good that he will wait until the very last one comes. And if it takes this, for that to happen, he will. Why not? So I'm asking you to please go into prayer, be close to God. Do not hesitate to go out and say to that colleague finally, hey, listen, I know you know I'm a Christian, but I wanna tell you whatever's gonna happen next, trust Jesus. And look at him and say, call me crazy, but I needed to share that with you because I care for you. Make it real. We really have no time to waste. I have never, ever had so many people around me at once that I'm sharing Christ with. And I'm telling you, I'm sharing it with people that are Wiccas in my area. Wiccas and New Age is, is the norm. So I'm asking you guys, please take care of your souls. Make sure you're focused and do not in any moment. Don't let the devil get in anywhere. Not with fear, not with nothing. It's just really important right now, guys. Something, something you need to do this for a reason. And I'm asking you to heed this warning. God loves you. You guys are going to be okay. We're all going to be okay. This is not a message of fear. This is a message of urgency. Anybody who's in the army, anybody who, who is involved with emergency intervention knows that when something happens, a storm's brewing, we get, we get ready before. I'm gonna ask you, get ready. We're about to be deployed before we're called back home. I really feel that. Take care guys, love you very much. Let's keep praying, okay? God bless you all.